Hello Office 365 users. We're going to look at Office 365 forms today. So once you get logged into your Office 365 account, select forms. If you don't see it here in the original set of tiles, of course you can explore all of your apps or use the app launcher here in the top left corner uh, to again get a different look at your list of possible apps in another in another format. So we're going to select forms and the forms that you've already created uh, will we'll show here. Of course, if you haven't done this previously, you won't have anything here. And all you'll have is a new form or a new quiz. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to get started with a quiz. They are virtually identical. The only difference is that with a quiz, I have to select correct answers. With a form, I am just getting someone's opinion, just surveying my audience. Uh, so no, no correct answer has to be selected. So you're going to start here by giving your quiz a name. I'm just going to call mine Delete Me. And you can enter a description if you're so inclined, but that's, an op that's optional. And then you can dive right into adding questions. So when you click Add Question, your six question types appear, the four on the main dashboard, and then two more are buried in the three dots there at the end of the line. Let's get started with a multiple choice question. We'll just do an old favorite here. What color is George Washington's white horse? And then it very nicely gives me options, possibly, uh, or suggested options once I typed that word color. Uh, so I can just go ahead and add all of them if I'm so inclined. But if I want to get rid of any, I can, of course, do that. Horses, I suppose, are not ever green or blue. Really, probably not orange or red either, but maybe we want some more options here. I guess we could change orange to paint and yellow to tan, as that might be more appropriate. But you'll notice once we type an option, these buttons show up here to the right. I can delete an option. I can uh, put a message to my respondents when they select a, a given option. And I need to mark one of these as the correct answer. Uh, so once you've done that, it shows there to the right. So then, Moving on to the dashboard here across the bottom for my question, I need to give it a certain number of points. Maybe this one's just worth one. I could also select that people could give multiple answers depending on the type of question or the data I'm trying to gather here. And I can decide whether or not my question is required. Also, you'll note, again, Barry, there are some more settings. If you were doing a math type question, there is an equation editor available on the teacher side. The equation, same equation editor is not available on the student side. And then I have a choice to shuffle options. Of course, if I want the quiz of one person to look slightly different than the quiz of the person next to them, I would want to shuffle options. And if a subtitle of some sort is appropriate here, you can turn that option on and off as well. Okay, so now we're ready to add an additional question. Maybe this time we will do a text one because I want to show you that equation editor. So what number it comes after eight? And here, when you're ready to do a math type question, uh, we go here to the more settings and select math. And when we click into the box below our question stem, this equation editor pops up and you can put in a wide variety of complex things. Of course, for my question, none of that is, is necessarily appropriate, uh, but just to show you how it makes it into a nice, what you're used to equation font, I'll type something in there. And then you're allowed to give uh, your, your correct answers here by clicking add answer. Uh, so what comes after eight, nine? Uh, of course, I could also accept since I'm adding, since I added that equation there, the answers to my, to my equation, I can add as many correct answers as I like. And if I want to come back over here, I can also mark a restriction for the answers I'll accept. 
uh, that I will only accept a number or that I'll only accept a number that, that falls into one of these categories as well. Okay, just a couple more things I'm gonna show you here in question type. You'll notice if you pick a ranking question that you get to give as many options as you want and whatever order you set them in is the correct order for, uh, for the final answer on your quiz so that it auto grades it for you. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this one and I wanna show you also a Likert question. So if I pop that one up here. So how do you feel about raspberry jello? And you can do here as much or as little as you want. You'll notice that they have five options here for you, but each time you click on one, you have the trash can option, so you can scale this down as much as, as much as you like. And then actually you can get as specific as you want. So maybe we just wanna ask, how do you feel about Jell-O? And then down here, you could put your different types of Jell-O and they would give the, their statement of like or dislike uh, with each one. All right, so those are the question types available here in forms. We'll form some quizzes. We'll come back again and show some more features in another video. Thank you.